Good evening. The St. Jude Rock and Roll Nashville Marathon is in the books. More than 34,000 runners hit the streets in Music City for the 18th annual event. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy caught up with the winner. From the start of the race, there was barely any competition around Scott Witeka, and it would stay that way for more than two hours. Probably around 11 miles, I can feel my legs start kind of shutting down, and probably about 20, I started sweating, or I stopped sweating. So I tried to pour water in them at every water stop. The Hendersonville school teacher took a huge lead early on and kept it for 26.2 miles when he crossed the finish line at Nissan Stadium. It was definitely a struggle. I'm glad it was 26 miles instead of 27. It might have been a different winner if it was. There hasn't been a different winner in years. This becomes Waiteka's fifth consecutive year winning the marathon, and he almost didn't race until his students convinced him in January many of whom joined the thousands of supporters along the race route. They asked what to hand me. I told them money, but nobody brought me any money. But, but what water is better than money today? Waiteka gets a $500 check and all the water he wants, with several months now to decide if he wants to try for his sixth straight win next year. From the finish line, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. And Waiteka was running alone for much of the race. The runner-up finished 16 minutes later. Lauren Mitchell was the top female runner. She finished the marathon in 3 hours and 17 minutes.